Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun video for 2020 and I wanted to do this again because I did this video, I think I've done it two years in a row, but it's basically a spin on Samantha March's popular brands I want to try series. So most YouTubers will do like a series where they do brands that they want to try in XYZ like 2020 and I thought it would be really fun to do a video where I recommend brands I think you guys should try just because it's kind of fun to give people ideas of different brands and show you a few things in my collection. So one day I was laying in bed when I woke up a little too early and I started making a list and I actually watched my video from 2019 of brands I think you should try and I had recommended eight different brands and this year I actually have 12. Some of the brands are repeats because I just think they're so good and I feel like they deserve another mention. So really quickly, last year I had mentioned Sydney Grace, which of course is wonderful, and then BH Cosmetics, Jeffree Star, Real Techniques, Huda Beauty, Dose of Colors, Melt Cosmetics, and then Kale Polish. Kale Polish did end up actually closing down in 2019, I believe, and now she's back with Light Slacker, which I would definitely recommend checking out. I'm actually wearing one of her holiday nail polishes today. I can't remember this shade. Uh, name, but it's like a brown color. I don't know. It's from our holiday collection. My nails have been really strange. I think it's my nail cutter. I think I need a new nail cutter because my nail cut cutter, I think is like blunt. So every time I try to cut my nails with it, it like wrecks my nails. And like a couple weeks ago, I had the best nails ever. So I'm very confused about that situation. Um, but forget that random side note. But yeah, some of these brands I still really love. Uh, BH Cosmetics, I think I'm going to take a break from, and I have been on a break from for the last couple of months. They just are doing so much, and I spend so much money buying their stuff, but then I never get around to reviewing it. So I'm taking a break from them. Jeffree Star, I feel like, you know, it started off really strong because I loved his liquid lipsticks, but the eyeshadow palettes have always kind of been like, eh. And then I, the last one I tried, which was the C Conspiracy and Controversy palettes, they were good, but... They're not blowing my mind, so I wouldn't recommend his brand again to you guys. Um, everything else on here, though, I still really like. But, of course, what would be the fun of me talking about the same brands over and over again? So, um, I'm excited to share with you guys. Without further blabbering, let's get into brands that I think you should try in 2020. So the first brand I think you guys should try is the brand Adept Cosmetics. Now, I've seen Adept send a lot of their magnetic palettes to people. I think that's what they're most known for. And I think from what I remember, they've had makeup before, but this is like a new version or maybe they like revamped it. And so these are their eyeshadows and they came out in square pans. And honestly, these square pans make me appreciate square pans because I don't really have anything that is a square pan. So I definitely need to like fill out this row. But these are so buttery. I did a get ready with me type video or like a first impressions on these eyeshadows and they're so gorgeous. I definitely need to do more looks with these on my channel but I feel really comfortable recommending them to you guys. The shimmers are beautiful and buttery. The mattes have kind of like the Natasha Denona Metropolis formula, a little bit very like creamy um, to a powder type formula. Very nice. I like that she has some iridescent shades. She's got a ton of colors and you don't have to buy all of them. You can buy two or three. You can customize it depending on how your collection is. So I don't have a ton of things to show you guys from Adept, but I really, really like the eyeshadow palettes and I'm so glad I got to try them in 2019. And now I'm recommending that you try them in 2020. So the next brand is like on everyone's like best makeup of 2019 list. And I definitely want to recommend them to you guys so that you can try them in 2020. This is the Kaleidos eyeshadow palettes. I have all of these. I purchased the first three that came out. So these three I bought with my own money. And then I was lucky enough to have these sent to me. And when I bought the first three, I also bought their Deep Sea Luster palette, which you can't buy anymore. But this is actually the palette I'm wearing on my eyes today. I was really feeling like the neutral vibe. I don't know if you guys can see my sweater, but it's like very neutral and just cozy. And so I actually did a very neutral eye with this palette, which 
I love so so much and I know Angie's always talking about like oh I wish they would bring this back I wish they would bring this back so fingers crossed that either they bring this back or they bring us something even more spectacular in 2020 is really what I'm hoping for but this is in my try and buy series and I wanted to film this look but you just want to like put makeup on and watch YouTube and not film every makeup look so that's what I did today and I had so much fun playing with this palette and yeah this is definitely staying in my collection this is not a buy palette this is a definite keeper in my collection so I love this one sorry and then I do love their highlighters as well you can see them in my background they're in that drawer I didn't want to grab them there's so much stuff on this table in front of me so just know that I love the highlighters I did a swatch party video of those and then I have their liquid lipsticks back there I'm actually wearing one of their glosses on my lips today so lots of exciting products to try from Kaleidos. They also have an eye brush set that they sent me in PR and that's wonderful too. They're in like my brush holders back there. They're constantly in use. So I feel like Kaleidos is the brand to watch out for in 2020 if you haven't tried them yet. I'm really hoping that we see some blushes and maybe some bronzers, definitely some glowy blushes even though I'm not supposed to be buying any face stuff in 2020 but Anyway, I love their stuff. I mean, you guys have already seen all these palettes, I'm sure, because they do send a lot of smaller influencers their PR, but honestly, these are so good. This color story is amazing. Like, I've never seen anything like this, to be very honest with you guys. So I'm really, really excited to continue playing with these palettes. I've done looks with pretty much all of these. I think the only one I haven't featured on my channel is the um, Cyber Bronze, but I'm gonna do that soon. But I love Kaleidos so much, you guys, and I would definitely recommend you guys trying them. I would definitely recommend you guys trying them in 2020. Okay, so the next brand, this is really funny because I haven't even really tried all of these shades, but I would recommend trying Terra Moon, specifically the Chameleon eyeshadows. These are gonna be restocking pretty soon, so Hopefully you guys can get your hands on them. I'm wearing the shade Red Giant in my inner corner as well as I threw some in the brow bone. It's like this iridescent red. Oh my goodness. It's such a stunning shade. It's the first shade in this palette and I constantly reach for these. I need to swatch these for you guys um, so we can all like swoon together. But I bought the top two rows or actually my husband bought these for me over Black Friday and then they sent me these as well. I haven't tried the shades that they sent me yet. I just, I just can't stop using these chameleon shadows. So, <laughs> I, I, this is all I've tried from Terra Moon, which, you know, I feel like maybe you guys are like, oh, Karen, that's not a lot of stuff. But just those chameleon shades alone are worth picking up and trying. So take it from me, Terra Moon, you want to try it in 2020. Okay, guys, so the next brand, I don't doubt that if you haven't tried this brand yet in 2019, it's definitely on your list to try in 2020, but just to drive the point across, you know, here I am, and I must say I have bought stuff from Cleonade even before they came out with their stained glass collection, but the next brand on my list is Cleonade Cosmetics. They have these gorgeous eyeshadow palettes that are basically handmade, I believe. They like do all the packaging themselves, and they have such interesting color stories. Sorry, I just noticed that one of my shades is shattered, so I don't wanna hold it up too high. But Angelica did the lookbook for this one. And then of course they had like a set when they launched Arkeo where you could also get the Paleo palette. So here's the Paleo palette. I also have a ton of their singles. I didn't want to pull everything out, but I have so many of their like different bundles. And of course the shining stars of the show are their stained glass eyeshadows. So those are the square pans. Oh my God, these are so gorgeous. I did do a swatch party video of my new shades that I picked up with Brick Clark that was a vlogmas collab so you should be able to find that video but these shades are gorgeous so Cleonaut has really 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 fucked the game up to be honest like so intense and pigmented and beautiful and they never stay in stock so if you get a chance to catch them on a restock grab some stained glass shadows because you won't regret it. Their other shadows are really nice too, but those stained glass ones, they're really, really unique. So I had to recommend that you try Cleonade in 2020. Okay, so the next two brands are actually brush brands and they were on my list of brands to try in 2019 and I tried them and I love them. 
So I absolutely want to recommend you try these two brands. So the first brand is Sonia G and I grabbed my favorite Sonia G brush. This is the Builder Pro and it's my favorite brush to pack on eyeshadows. As you can see, it has like a very tapered, flat bristle situation. So it's really good at packing things on. Also, it's called the Builder Pro. These are expensive. I picked them up at Beautylish because I my next brush is a Wayne Grass brush. So both of these brands are sold at Beautylish, which is where I would recommend you getting them because then you can break them up into three payments um, because they're pricey, but I feel like they're so worth it. They're so soft. You know, I have a pretty extensive Morphe brush collection because when I was getting into makeup, that's really all I could afford, but I was so glad to be able to invest in these and I use these every day. Every day I use them. I clean them with my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner and yeah, I, I just I just keep grabbing for the same brushes. So I love this so much. And this is my favorite Wayne Goss brush. If I could afford to get like five of these, I would. This is the Wayne Goss number 16 and it's basically like a big fluffy blending brush and I love using this guy in my crease so, so much. It's got a beautiful taper, it's so soft and it just covers my whole eyelids. So I'm so happy that I got to try these two brands and I would really recommend you guys trying them too and investing in some high-end brushes because they do last really well and I think they're worth the money. People ask me all the time if I think they're worth the money and I definitely do think these are worth the money. Okay guys, so the next brand I am recommending to you guys, again, is a repeat. This is Huda Beauty. I feel like Huda Beauty did some fun stuff this year. She did setting spray. She did those like liquid eyeshadows. There's some misses, no doubt, but the hits are pretty poppin' in my opinion. And I don't have to love everything from a brand to recommend them to you, but I did grab her foundation. I love her foundation. It's so full coverage. So this is definitely not for everyone. If you don't like full coverage, you're not gonna like this. And if you like full coverage, you still might not like this. It's very thick. I like to use it with a sponge and I just think it works really well on me. So my winter shade is 340G, which is baklava. And then in the summertime, I wear gingerbread, which is 430N. And yeah, I just love these guys so, so much. So that's a good product. And I like that she has a good color line for tan girls. And then this palette just blew me away. This is her nude palette in the shade Rich. And I did a collab with these palettes with my two YouTube friends, Amy and Angie. And this palette worked so well. I'm always hesitant with her smaller palettes because I've had bad luck, good luck, bad luck, good luck. And so I'm so happy that I had good luck with these. But yeah, like the neons were a huge miss. Those are gonna be in my worst makeup buys of 2019. But the nudes, I really like. And then I, of course, have all her bigger palettes here. And I did pick up the Mercury Retrograde. I really like this palette. I must say, though, I haven't used it a ton. So I don't want to say, like, you need it, you have to buy it. But I think this is so different, so fun. I love the color story. I love the packaging. A plus, in my opinion. Okay, so the next brand is one that was definitely on my like no-no list, like Natasha Denono. Everyone always like makes fun of that. And I was just so like not into her because I had tried her palettes here and there and I just never felt like things were consistent, which was my biggest problem with her brand for the longest time. But after I got the gold palette last year, oh my gosh, it really just like opened my mind to Natasha Denona and I'm just like obsessed now. I have many more of her palettes. I just didn't want to grab them all. This is my, you know, all-time favorite. Actually, I can't, I don't know. If, like, my house was on fire, I feel like I'd grab these two. So the gold palette was my favorite, but then I got the Metropolis, and I just feel like the Metropolis has everything you need and more. <laughs> so I love this palette, and I love the gold palette from her. I haven't tried a lot of her products, mostly just eyeshadows. And then this guy, this is the Duo Glow in Alba. I love this blush. I've had it for about two years now. And I wish she would put in more shades of this formula because glowy blushes are like so hip and cool right now. And if I could get more of these, I would be pumped. But yeah, Natasha Denona, I love her eyeshadow palettes. I can't wait to see what she does in 2020. Hoping for more creative and innovative 
palettes, of course, because you guys know I'm an eyeshadow palette junkie. Okay, guys, I guess we're going to talk about another brand that I kind of had a rocky relationship with for a long time. Mel Cosmetics was always a hit or miss. I bought one of their stacks. I wasn't a huge fan, to be very honest with you guys. And then they started doing palettes because they were always known for their stacks. And they started doing palettes and I was like, whoa, hello. So they did, was 27, did 27 come out first or Gemini? I can't remember. Um, one of the two. Gemini wasn't really my color story at the time. Now I want it so badly, but I'm trying not to be a savage because I have those color stories like in the Juicy Olive and the Kaleidos palette. So I'm trying not to like rebuy the same color story, but I love that Gemini color scheme now. And 27 I bought and I just had to send back twice actually because the formula was a mess. So then I was like, no, screw melt, not buy anything. Then they had to go and release the Smoke Session palette, which came out last year, and mine is a mess. Like, it's a mess. If you look at it, it's really quite poofy, and I'm scared. Like, if I drop this, it's gonna be game over. So I love this palette, though. It was in my 2019 Favorites video, and I also tried a bunch of their face products. So Genesis this year, I'm obsessed with, and I also tried Sundown, which is a blush light. Such a beautiful formula. It's like a shimmery formula, so I love that. Illumination was not my favorite, but I'm glad I have it. And then, of course, I bought their holiday collection. This is the Morte and Vita palettes, and I did do a look and a review um, with these palettes. I would love to do something I really want to do in 2020 is do more multiple looks with a single palette. But it just doesn't work out for me with the way I film because I usually film on the weekends. So I'll do an eye look, film a couple of different videos, and then go on my merry way. I don't really have the energy to do my makeup again in the same day. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm going to try and figure it out though because I think it just makes sense to do multiple pa looks with the same palette. And I wouldn't be mad about having to go back and playing with these some more. I, of course, play with them in my spare time and would love to do more looks with this. But you guys, try Melt. I'm hoping... I can't wait to see what they do in 2020. I've been eyeing some of their older palettes, but I'm trying to bring in this new rule in my life where if I don't buy it on launch day, I'm not going to buy it because... I buy way too much stuff that's like so irrelevant on YouTube and then it never gets used because I have so many palettes that I want to play with and show you guys on, you know, camera because that's my, it's not really like my job, but like that's, it makes sense for a content creator, you know? So not going to look back, but I'm very excited to see what they come out with in 2020 because like this collection blew my mind, so I'm just really excited to see what they do next. So the next brand, oh my gosh, this one, again, didn't think I would go there, but the next brand I think you guys should try is Lunar Beauty. Now, Mandy was definitely off to a rocky start. I didn't love Life's a Drag. I didn't love the packaging. I just thought it looked very, like, over-the-top cheap, sort of. And then the Greek Goddess collection he did with like the Medusa situation was not a fan. And then I found, or I don't know how, what happened, where we found each other, but I found Britt Clark and she wouldn't stop raving about Manny's highlighters. So these are the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Powder highlighters and I have it in the shade Venus. Brittany does a lot of lives and every time she put the, one of these highlighters on, I was like, Oh my gosh, like I need that highlighter. And so this summer when I met Angie, we were at a Morphe store and I picked that up. So I loved that. Then he came out with the Strawberry Dreams palette and everyone was raving about this. So I waited for a Sephora sale and I picked it up. And I love it so much. Mine doesn't smell as strongly of strawberries as it used to. But this is such a fun, pretty color story. Again, this is another palette I would like to use more on my channel and it's just gorgeous. So I love that, love that color story. And if you're not into the bright colors, then Moonspell might be for you. Everyone is obsessed with this palette on YouTube, it feels like. And 
for good reason. It has so many beautiful shades. Packaging is spectacular. I love that there's like a neutral row in the middle. So if you want to like dabble in some color, you still got some fun colors, but you can also pull off a bomb neutral look with this palette, which is what I did when I played with this palette. So I really, really enjoy the Moonspell palette. And I definitely think you guys should try Lunar Beauty in 2020. Okay, so the, <laughs> I've got so many palettes. It's crazy. Okay, so the next brand, I love this brand, you guys. And I really just wanna say like this one formula is my favorite. So these are the JD Glow Galaxy Shadows. They also have multi-chromes. I have their multi-chromes, but the Galaxy Shadows are where it's at. These are so buttery, glittery, fantastic. And I know people compare them to the Pat McGrath Special Shades. I don't necessarily think these are dupes. I think these are fabulous. I don't want to say that they're better than Pat McGrath, but I feel like they're so buttery and so pigmented and just so easy to work with that I would say get these if you don't want to fucks with Auntie Pat's pricing, which I totally understand. Ah, but I love these so much. These are some colors that I put away just to try. I also have these. I bought all of them. I bought all the Galaxy Shadows because they're so stunning and I don't want to like swatch everything but I do have swatch parties of the JD Glow shadows and I think you guys should definitely check them out. They are like seven bucks and sometimes they go on like half off sales, which is when I picked them up because I like a good sale if you know what I mean. Okay guys, so last but certainly not least, number 12 is Give Me Glow Cosmetics. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how I found Give Me Glow. I think it might have been Makeup Struggles. Um, that was talking about them and I have a bunch of their singles. I have more singles somewhere But this is like their green palette that I've created with their singles. I've got the juicy olive which came out this year Stunning. I have the Christmas morning palette Which I just did a get ready with me on Christmas Day with this stunning palette. I have vintage rose which I never actually reviewed on my channel, but it's bomb, like seriously. I have Summer Vibes, which looks like that. Like, how fun! And of course, I have the Staple Palette, which I think was their first palette. They also have another palette called the Grunge Palette, which I want. But, like I said, we're trying to do this thing where we don't buy every eyeshadow palette after it's launched. So, I'm good. I'm gonna see what they have in store. But I love their formula. I think they tweaked it a little bit this year and it's even better. It's buttery, it's blendable, it's pigmented. I love the uniqueness of their color stories. The only thing people complain about is the pan size, but you're not really paying, I don't think you're paying that much more to get those huge pans. So I love Give Me Glow. I definitely think you guys should try them out. And that is it for my 12 brands. I think you guys, should try in 2020. So let me know what you think in the comments. Are you curious to try any of these brands? Have you already tried them? Are there any other brands you guys would recommend that I try in 2020? I have a list. I want to do that in a separate video. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one soon. Bye!